Hosea chapter 12 Ephraim feeds on the wind. He pursues the east wind all day and multiplies lies and violence. He makes a treaty with Assyria and sends olive oil to Egypt. The Lord has a charge to bring against Judah. He will punish Jacob according to his ways and repay him according to his deeds. In the womb he grasped his brother's heel. As a man he struggled with God. He struggled with the angel and overcame him. He wept and begged for his favor. He found him at Bethel and talked with him there. The Lord God Almighty, the Lord is his name. But you must return to your God. Maintain love and justice and wait for your God always. The merchant uses dishonest scales and loves to defraud. Ephraim boasts, I am very rich, I have become wealthy. With all my wealth they will not find in me any iniquity or sin. I have been the Lord your God ever since you came out of Egypt. I will make you live in tents again as in the days of your appointed festivals. I spoke to the prophets, gave them many visions, and told parables through them. Is Gilead wicked? Its people are worthless. Do they sacrifice bulls in Gilgal? Their altars will be like piles of stones on a ploughed field. Jacob fled to the country of Aram. Israel served to get a wife, and to pay for her he tended sheep. The Lord used a prophet to bring Israel up from Egypt. By a prophet he cared for him. But Ephraim has aroused his bitter anger. His Lord will leave on him the guilt of his bloodshed, and will repay him for his contempt. Hosea chapter 13 When Ephraim spoke, people trembled. He was exalted in Israel. But he became guilty of Baal worship and died. Now they sin more and more. They make idols for themselves from their silver, cleverly fashioned images, all of them the work of craftsmen. It is said of these people, they offer human sacrifices, they kiss calf idols. Therefore, they will be like the morning mist, like the early dew that disappears, like chaff swirling from a threshing floor, like smoke escaping through a window. But I have been the Lord your God ever since you came out of Egypt. You shall acknowledge no God but me, no Saviour except me. I cared for you in the wilderness, in the land of burning heat. When I fed them, they were satisfied. When they were satisfied, they became proud. Then they forgot me. So I will be like a lion to them, like a leopard I will lurk by the path. Like a bear robbed of her cubs, I will attack them and rip them open. Like a lion I will devour them, a wild animal will tear them apart. You are destroyed, Israel, because you are against me, against your helper. Where is your king that he may save you? Where are your rulers in all your towns, of whom you said, Give me a king and princes? So in my anger I gave you a king, and in my wrath I took him away. The guilt of Ephraim is stored up, his sins are kept on record. Pains as of a woman in childbirth come to him, but he is a child without wisdom. When the time arrives, he doesn't have the sense to come out of the womb. I will deliver this people from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. Where, O oh death, are your plagues? Where, O oh grave, is your destruction? I will have no compassion, even though he thrives among his brothers. An east wind from the Lord will come, blowing in from the desert. His spring will fail, and his well dry up. His storehouse will be plundered of all its treasures. The people of Samaria must bear their guilt, because they have rebelled against their God. They will fall by the sword. Their little ones will be dashed to the ground their pregnant women ripped open. Revelation chapter 7 After this, I saw four angels 
standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth to prevent any wind from blowing on the land or on the sea or on any tree. Then I saw another angel coming up from the east, having the seal of the living God. He called out in a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm the land and the sea, do not harm the land or the sea or the trees until we put a seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. Then I heard the number of those who were sealed. A hundred and forty-four thousand from all the tribes of Israel. From the tribe of Judah, twelve thousand were sealed. From the tribe of Reuben, twelve thousand. From the tribe of Gad, 12,000, from the tribe of Asher, 12,000, from the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000, from the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000, from the tribe of Simeon, 12,000, from the tribe of Levi, 12,000, from the tribe of Issachar, 12,000, from the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000, from the tribe of Joseph, 12,000, from the tribe of Benjamin. 12,000. After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands, and they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. All the angels were standing round the throne, and round the elders and the four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne, and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honour and power and strength. Be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders asked me, These in white robes, who are they, and where did they come from? I answered, Sir, you know. And he said, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple, and he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. Never again will they hunger, never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat down on them, nor any scorching heat, for the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Psalm 135 Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Him, you servants of the Lord, you who minister in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praise to his name, for that is pleasant. For the Lord has chosen Jacob to be his own, Israel to be his treasured possession. I know that the Lord is great, that our Lord is greater than all gods. The Lord does whatever pleases him, in the heavens and on the earth, in the seas and all their depths. He makes clouds rise from the ends of the earth, he sends lightning with the rain and brings out the wind from his storehouses. He struck down the firstborn of Egypt, the firstborn of people and animals. He sent his signs and wonders into your midst, Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. He struck down many nations and killed mighty kings. Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, king of Bashan, and all the kings of Canaan and he gave their land as an inheritance, an inheritance to his people, Israel. Your name, Lord, endures forever. Your renown, Lord, through all generations. 
for the Lord will vindicate his people and have compassion on his servants. The idols of the nations are silver and gold made by human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, nor is there breath in their mouths. Those who make them will be like them, and so will all who trust in them. All you Israelites, praise the Lord. House of Aaron, praise the Lord. House of Levi, praise the Lord. You who fear him, praise the Lord. Praise be to the Lord from Zion, to him who dwells in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Proverbs chapter 22 A good name is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. Rich and poor have this in common. The Lord is the maker of them all. The prudent see danger and take refuge, but the simple keep going and pay the penalty. Humility is the fear of the Lord. Its wages are riches and honor and life. In the paths of the wicked are snares and pitfalls, but those who would preserve their life stay far from them. Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old they will not turn from it. The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower is slave to the lender. Whoever sows injustice reaps calamity, and the rod they wield in fury will be broken. The generous will themselves be blessed, for they share their food with the poor. Drive out the mocker, and out goes strife. Quarrels and insults are ended. One who loves a pure heart, and who speaks with grace, will have the king for a friend. The eyes of the Lord keep watch over knowledge, but he frustrates the words of the unfaithful. The sluggard says, There's a lion outside. I'll be killed in the public square. The mouth of an adulterous woman is a deep pit. A man who is under the Lord's wrath falls into it. Folly is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline will drive it far away. One who oppresses the poor to increase his wealth, and one who gives gifts to the rich, both come to poverty. Thirty Sayings of the Wise Saying 1. Pay attention and turn your ear to the sayings of the wise. Apply your heart to what I teach, for it is pleasing when you keep them in your heart and have all of them ready on your lips. So that your trust may be in the Lord, I teach you today, even you. Have I not written thirty sayings for you, sayings of counsel and knowledge, teaching you to be honest and to speak the truth, so that you bring back truthful reports to those you serve? Saying 2. Do not exploit the poor because they are poor, and do not crush the needy in court, for the Lord will take up their case and will exact life for life. Saying 3. Do not make friends with a hot-tempered person. Do not associate with one easily angered, or you may learn their ways and get yourself ensnared. Saying 4. Do not be one who shakes hands in pledge or puts up security for debts. If you lack the means to pay, your very bed will be snatched from under you. Saying 5. Do not move an ancient boundary stone set up by your ancestors. Saying 6. Do you see someone skilled in their work? They will serve before kings. They will not serve before officials of low rank. <laughs>